the company that guarantees discretion to its millions of users can no longer make that claim that as hackers fail. deliver on their promise to release the personal details of Ashley Madison's clients, men and women looking for affairs. This online security expert says it's a reminder that hackers rarely bluff. This is what hackers do. When they threaten, if they don't get what they want, they carry out those threats, they do what they threaten to do. Included in the massive data dump, millions of transactions over the past eight years, long spreadsheets of partial credit card information, but more revealing, the corresponding names and home addresses of Ashley Madison users. From all over the world, mostly American, but we found plenty of examples of Canadians, including a Toronto restaurant owner, a dentist in Vancouver, and a lawyer from Montreal. And already, searchable databases are popping up online to identify would-be adulterers. And as quickly as they're going up, they're being threatened with legal action and pulled down. Still, an unprecedented data breach like this is hard to contain. There's no equivalent here of, uh, of changing your credit card number or your password. And the consequences for people's lives uh, are, are not inconvenienced, but um, everything ranging from... Uh, at the very least, uh, public humiliation, the potential breakup of a, of a marriage. The company behind Ashley Madison has issued a brief statement calling the hackers' actions an act of criminality. If anything, this breach could force other companies to reconsider how they save customer data and for how long. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.